Neodymium magnets for trying locomotives are very expensive. At the moment, they're about £10. The title to this video is a little bit misleading, um, because of course they work, um, all magnets work, um, you just need a magnetic field and it will work. But the big question here is, are they actually worth uh, you know, the £10 they cost? So I'm going to try and find the answer to that. Now this isn't necessarily conclusive, um, these are only my experiments and they may not cover all aspects of the greater picture, um, but I've, well, my experiment is actually split into three. Um, three parts which I consider to be the most important features and that's the first one to test the high speed and power the second one the efficiency and third one is low speed performance uh, three important factors there with locomotives okay so the first experiment for high speed and power with the normal magnet non-modified I will precisely time the duration of one lap of the railway um, at full speed, so that's full 12 volts on the controller, um, and I'm going to do that with cameras, so I can, you know, to the nearest millisecond, I can get it bang on, um, and then I'll repeat that experiment six times, each time adding an extra coach, so in theory we should be pulling more juice from the transformer, um, until we've got six coaches on a locomotive, uh, and I'll do everything twice, so we'll get two values for everyone. Should really do it three times, but, you know, I can't be bothered. Uh, and then, of course, I'll fit the neodymium magnet into the same locomotive, uh, into the X04 motor, and repeat the entire process. Then we'll put all the timings into a table and compare the results, maybe get Excel to draw as a graph, see the difference, and hopefully, if the X04s are worth their money, we should see a significant improvement once we fit the new motor. Okay, let's see how it goes. Okay, so this test will take into account the pulling power of this locomotive, which is one I consider to be reliable. This has the original magnet inside it. Uh, well serviced, well looked after, running excellently. So first we'll try it on its own. We do each result, uh, we'll do each test twice. We should do them three times, but twice will be fine and I'll work out the average. We're doing the timing by filming very accurately with this camera. Um, the timing will happen each time the loco passes this point. Uh, and we'll do one lap to get it up to speed and then the second lap will always count. Then we'll do each experiment again, 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 again and again, adding one coach each time, which would hopefully show us um, how much slow the locomotive is um, as we add coaches. In other words, we will test the, pull the pulling power of the locomotive. Once the loco has had its new magnet fitted, the new neodymium one, we'll do each test again and we'll try and get percentages on the improvements of speed and pulling power. But for now, the first test. So, full speed. We're going all the way around the layout once. Okay, I'll start this one recording. This is test 1A, loco on its own. This is the first test. And the clock will start when the locomotive passes this point. There we are. That's the first test. Once we get round, now nothing is, nothing at all is going to change. We'll always give it one warm-up run. All right, and stop. Perfect. And we'll stop this camera recording just for the sake of argument. Now we're going to add all the coaches in the same order every single time, and they're going to be the same coaches, of course. So it's a truly fair test. Right, give it a test run. Fine. And that wraps it up for the non new magnet experiment. We'll now fit the magnet into the loco and we'll do the same tests again. Okay, here's the old magnet and there's the new neo magnet. Hopefully it's the right way. Let's get it tried out. Right, she's now at full speed. This is experiment 1C, the camera's recording. The new magnet's now installed. Let's see. Time. Starts now. 
Down she comes. Coach is lined up ready. Okay. Stop the clock now. Alright, first coach. And time. Well done, Loco. Stop you. Okay, so here's the results. So the top one um, is the local on its own, and then each one down from that to the bottom is the coaches added. So number seven, for example, um, which is this one, um, is with six coaches, and these are the two times, and the red on the edge is average. So as you can see, as we add more coaches, it takes longer. These are in seconds, and these are calculated precisely, um, which would make sense. And that's with the old magnet. So, here's the neo magnet. This is the same thing. These are the averages. Now, they're just numbers, but when we see the graphs, uh, that's when it makes more sense. So, Let's get the graphs. I'll, I'll turn the exposure down so you can see them. Okay, so that's more obvious. Uh, so this is the locomotive on its own down here, and then as we add more and more coaches, it takes longer and longer and longer, up to about 21 and a half seconds from about 18 and a half. So quite a big increase. And this is with the new magnet. You can see the line is much steeper though don't pay too much mind to that because uh, they're different scales um, but it only really comes into play when you see the two lines together now the blue line is the new neo magnet and the red line is the old magnet and as you can see they're both pretty much the same until you get to about four coaches and then when you add four coaches we start to see the extra power provided by the neo magnet and basically the added weight of the coaches has a lesser an effect on the neo magnet version than the non neo magnet. So in in essence, the original trying magnets start to feel the strain when you add more than four coaches. Then you start to lose power and it takes longer. The neo magnets don't see such a loss, so you can basically add more coaches. Um, interestingly, the neo magnet does slightly worse when the loco is on its own. So you won't see much of a difference. Uh, and I'll give you the numbers for that. So when the loco is on its own, the neo magnet took 18.32 seconds, but the non neo took 18.26 seconds. So a little bit quicker without the neo magnet. So the benefits are unnoticeable of the neo magnet. There are benefits but only of, what, 0.2 seconds in a lap. Um, so I'll get you some percentages there, and we will see. So the effects are actually are tiny um, with the new neodymium magnets. With no load, the neodymium magnets are 0.3% worse than normal magnets. So basically, uh, a totally tiny amount, an uh, unnoticeable amount. Uh, with three coaches, the neo magnets are 0.6% better than normal magnets. And with six coaches, the neo magnets are 3.2% better than normal magnets. So you can imagine if we added 12 coaches, you probably would see quite a bigger increase. But in conclusion, the neo magnets make very little difference to the speed and power of the locomotives. They do make a difference, but it's only a very, very small one mostly unnoticeable uh, but I won't condemn the neo magnets yet because I want to measure some of their efficiency so we'll get the ammeter hooked up to the, the railway and we'll try that and we'll see um, in terms of efficiency um, so you might be able to see um, you can run more trying locos with neo magnets on one controller than with the old magnets so that might be a possibility
Here's the non-neo magnet, and it's drawing, call it 0.18 amps, 0.17 then. Flick in between, 0.17 amps, there you go. And that's without the neo magnet. And here's the neo magnet, and it's pulling 0.15 amps, 0.16, let's see. Yeah, call it 0.16 then. There we go. There we go. Okay, so as you see there, the neodymium magnet pulled 0.16 amps. Uh, we times that by 12, that gives us 1.92 watt. The normal magnet from the old original trying motor pulled 0.17 amps. Again, times by 12, that gives you 2.4 watts, which is higher, like we expected, and that's 6% higher. Um, in other words, this magnet, the newer one, is 6% more efficient. And then we did, I did a little calculation there. So if we're using a 1 amp transformer, um, the newer magnet, you can use 6 of those motors, as long as there's no load with 1 amp, and that will run just fine. The normal one, you can't quite run 6, but nearly, um, with no load with 1 amp, so you can only run 5. Uh, but really, once you've got load, um, I'm not sure how much current they'll pull, but it's normally a little bit more than that probably in the region of double uh, especially because it's got to run all the locomotive gear uh, again though it's it's really a, a matter of is this six percent um, important to you that's the subjective part to me six percent for ten quid I would say I'm not too fussed but you know you might feel differently okay and for the last little test the low speed performance now this one isn't more of a measuring one this is more of a head-to-head -head challenge um, but hopefully it will still be quite conclusive low speed performance so we've got two rails set up uh, two similar locomotives both pacific for uh, 462 locomotives one's got the neo magnet one's got the normal magnet but they are pretty much the same both been serviced both pretty much identical then i've connected both the rails up to the same power supply and so basically both the engines are going to get the same power then with the controller I'll apply a low voltage around 3 volts maybe more uh, until they start to kick in and basically whichever runs further at the low voltage is the best at slow running uh, but things to look out for whichever stalls first um, is the least effective at slow running uh, whichever runs more smoothly is you know better and the one of course that gets the furthest is the most efficient at running at low power and of course if one of them stalls uh, that will bring it back. So again, hopefully we'll see the Neo Magnet this time uh, pull ahead by quite a bit. Uh, but we'll see, here we go. Okay, and quickly the slow speed test. We've got them both hooked up to the same power supply. I'm going to turn it on in just a sec. And basically whoever gets the furthest at the slowest speed is the better one. Of course this one's the one with the Neo Magnet and the Princess is the one with the normal Magnet. They're both Pacifics and they're both roughly the same weight. So, here we go. Gosh, that's interesting. As you can see, Winston does better at slow speeds. Where a princess can do an equally good job, but she cuts out. Hmm. Hard to say. Not a great difference, I must admit. So in conclusion, do these magnets work? Well yes, of course they work. We've seen them run a loco. It runs just as well as ever. The magnets are undeniably very, very strong. You know, if you get your screwdriver anywhere near it, you, it's a tug of war to get rid of it. They are very powerful magnets. But the big question is, of course, are they worth it? Now, these tests have shown that yes, they are more powerful and they are more efficient, but it is a myth that the Neo Magnets make the Loco go faster. Uh, they just allow the Loco to maintain a little bit more of its speed with greater loads. They're not noticeably better when running at low speeds. I mean, it is possible that the Princess locomotive did have less friction, I could have serviced her better, you know, etc. Uh, but even so, if the Magnet did cause a considerable uh, improvement uh, in the low speed running I'm sure we would have noticed uh, so really it's unnoticeable uh, for slow speed performance
Now, as I said, they are more powerful, they are more efficient, blah, blah. But really not by much. At most, I only saw a 3% gain in the time or speed with all six coaches. Um, and they only pull 6% less current. And that's with no load. Of course, we don't know how much less they would pull, or even more. Uh, with a load. So, in essence, if there's nothing wrong with the Loco, buying a magnet will not produce an improvement. But actually, there, there might be a situation when these magnets will produce a big improvement, and that's when your original trying magnet is actually knackered, and it's, you know, it's lost some of its magnetivity, and in that case, the Neo Magnet will help. Because these Neo Magnets are at least as good as a fully working trying magnet, if not very slightly better, but again, not noticeably. Anyway, that's what I found out. What do you guys think? Um, if you've had some of these new magnets in your experience, uh, what do you think? Did you notice a difference? Or are they just as good, not a lot better? Let me know what you think. Of course, there are other experiments that we could do to try and find where the improvement is with these magnets. Uh, but the three I've done um, didn't really show that much of an improvement. So, of course, they work, but they're not that great. That's it. Thanks for watching, guys. See you soon.